A few months ago, God gave me a word concerning um, him sending his children out two by two in this next upcoming season, okay? This word did not apply to everybody, but for those who were in season, for those who it does apply to, he was talking about promises fulfilled. He was talking about blessings, answered prayers, partnerships, okay, in the form of marriage, in the form of business and ministry, okay? A couple days ago, I was on TikTok and I actually came across this somebody talking about Doja Cat and he was going into detail breaking down one of her music videos concerning all of the demonic symbolism, how she sold her soul, and I do the quotations because you can't actually literally physically you know, sell your soul, but you can give the enemy access to it. You open a door to which he has access until God removes his grace from that person's life and then he takes that person. But that's a whole nother conversation for another time. In this music video, Doja Cat is standing next to what is supposed to be the Grim Reaper, which is holding a scythe, okay? And as I was watching this particular scene of the video that he was showing on his TikTok, it just, uh, the Holy Spirit fell on me and he brought me revelation concerning the word he had me release about the harvest. I think this guy in the TikTok had mentioned that the scythe is a farming tool and it was at that moment that I received this revelation from the Holy Spirit and I had a vision of a farmer holding the scythe and using it to harvest, to not harvest but to, um, thank you Holy Spirit, reap the harvest. The harvest is the fruit, okay, the result, what comes from the seed that was planted, the seed that was sown into the soil, okay, into the ground. So I saw this farmer with this scythe reaping this harvest, and the Holy Spirit told me, just as for my children, those who have been obedient to my word, those who have been seeking me, those who have surrendered to me, those who are living righteously. And that does not mean perfect, but you are living a life submitted to the Holy Spirit, okay? You are in tune with your Father in heaven. You are not living in rebellion. You are not living in sin. You have not made sin your lifestyle your norm okay just as this season literally and spiritually is a harvest for his children wherein they will begin reaping jesus all of the seeds they have sown in previous seasons there will also be a harvest where the wicked and the wicked is defined as anyone living outside of the will of God, living in sin, living in rebellion, denying the face, the hand, the heart of God, living to glorify the enemy, living as one with the world, okay? He is saying there is also a harvest in which the wicked will reap what they have sown. This process has already started. And he is saying it's only going to become more prominent, more um, noticeable, rather, in the next coming months. This upcoming season, the end of this year, is nothing to joke with. He was also heavily impressing it on my heart, um, the time of Halloween. And we know that Halloween is demonic. It is not of God. And if you are participating in it, you are glorifying the devil. Whether you want to agree with me or not, you cannot make something that is not of God, that is literally created to glorify Satan, you cannot turn that around and say, oh, I'm going to give God the glory through dressing up and, and putting on a mask and celebrating evil. That's not how that works. When you celebrate Halloween, you are opening doors to the enemy in not only your life, but the lives of those connected to you. When you are celebrating Halloween, you are making yourself and those connected to you more susceptible, more vulnerable to the witchcraft that is inevitably taking place on that holiday, on that occasion, and not just on that day, in days leading up to that day as well, days after that day as well. Witchcraft is no joke, it's very real, it's very serious, and things as little as you dressing up 
as little as you going trick-or-treating, those are open doors. But yes, God was putting this time frame on my heart so heavy and he was really impressing it on my heart that my generation okay even those younger than myself um i'm 23 he just was um showing me that there's going to be there is thank you holy spirit a plan an attack from the enemy to reap jesus to steal to snatch the souls of those who are not um within the will of god not everyone who's living wickedly is going to be taken on this night or around this time, but God has had me speak on this before. His grace is sufficient, but it does not last forever. There is an attack planned, okay, in, in preparation for the younger generations, especially towards the end of this year especially around the time of halloween that is what i felt that is what i'm feeling led by the holy spirit to warn everyone about okay that is a part of this harvest concerning the wicked concerning the unrepentant and that is a form of god's judgment now is not the time to be backsliding if you are a believer. Now is not the time to be getting involved with people that you know you're not meant to be involved with. Now is not the time to be allowing the world and the people in your environment to influence you to step outside of the will of God. Now is not the time, whether you're a believer or not, to be living in sin, to become one with your sin, to be so comfortable doing what you want to do, doing what you're accustomed to doing, now is the time for change. Now is the time for change. It's uncomfortable. The enemy's going to fight you on it. The enemy's going to try to keep you in complacency, in rebellion. But this is about your salvation. This is about your eternity. This world is so fleeting. We're going to be gone in the blink of an eye, okay? Take advantage of the time God has given you today to get right with him. Repent. Seek his face. Separate yourself from the things and the people, okay, in his timing as he leads you. He knows your heart. He's not expecting everything to change overnight but he's looking for you to be willing to walk this out with him to be willing to you know walk away from the things that the enemy has been using to keep you bound 